Well, hello there and welcome to my first vlog for a long, long time. Um, it's good to be back. I've had a bit of a rest. I've not took many photos over the last couple of months, really. And yeah, it's really good to be back. I thought I'd start um, this vlog by having a trip to a waterfall, <laughs> just for a change. Um, we're in a place called Harmony Waterfalls. It's up on the Yorkshire Dales. And I have photographed this a number of times. But today it's quite misty, which is really adding to the atmosphere, I think. And yeah, I, I, I just want to get a, a shot this waterfall in these type of conditions. I've been messing around with the exposure and I've opted for an aperture still to get depth of field. So I've gone for an aperture of F22. And then what I've done is I've um, upped the ISO so I can get around about a half a second. And I think that's going to work quite well in this shot. I'll turn the camera around so you can just see where we're at. Hopefully you can see the waterfall in the background. Um, yeah, so that's the shot I'm after. And hopefully I want to get a nice shot. I'm trying to get a moody shot, if you like. A little bit of atmosphere in the shot is always good. So I think, yeah, I think that's going to work. So I want to crack on and see what we get. So the lens is starting to mist up a bit, which is a bit of a pain in the neck, but I'm gonna to have to go with what I've got. And I think it's a pretty good shot. There's a little robin bouncing around over there. I wonder how close it's gonna come from. Yeah, but I'm still happy with the shot. Like I say, the, the, mess, the mist on the lens is starting to take effect now. So I'll take a couple of more shots and move to one next location. So I've got the shot I'm after. I'm on ISO 250, an aperture of f22, and I'm getting the shutter speed of around about a half a second, which looks really, really good. Just enough movement in the water. So here I am at my next location. I'm not sure which, um, what this waterfall is called actually, but I'll check it out and put it on the screen for you. Um, I have photographed this waterfall a good few times and it is quite a nice waterfall. You've just got to catch it in the, the right conditions is what I would say. Um, what I'm trying to do in this one, I'm going to shoot it at, at portrait and it, I just think it works better in portrait orientation rather than landscape. I'm also trying to go to speed up the shutter speed a bit because there's a lot of movement in the leaves and the overhanging ivy. So I want to try to get a slightly faster shutter speed and see how that works. Let's do it.
so I'm here at my final location. This is West Burton Waterfalls. I have photographed here tons and tons and tons of times before, and I doubt I'm gonna get anything near as good a shot as what I normally do. As you can see, the waterfall is in spate at the moment, and that it's got that horrible brown look in the water. One thing I would say about this waterfall, it is really good for getting shots um, from either side. You can really explore this waterfall quite well. It's around about 25 foot high. And like I say, what I can show you is my favorite shot that I've took, took here before. Yeah, I, I just think this shot works absolutely so well. The lighting is stunning and I really like the shot. I'll also put up another shot where there's some foreground interest and really, when you're photographing this waterfall, there's only one really good shot that you can get, and it's from quite low down, slightly to the right of the waterfall. It's been great to get back and uh, out with my camera and vlogging again. I have bought a new drone. <laughs> my wife's not too happy about that, but I think I'm going to need it over the next couple of days because I'm heading back up to Bonnie, Scotland and the stunning valley of Glencoe. I cannot wait to get up there and get some more good footage and to do a couple of vlogs hopefully. I've got a good idea of the shots that I want so that's my plan. Um, I'll head up to Scotland tomorrow so uh, you know wait for that video coming out. I'm sure it'll be fantastic and I'm, well you can't go wrong in Glencoe really so watch out for that one. I want to crack on now and get a couple of shots from this location and yeah like I say with the, the speed that the water's coming over the top, I doubt I'm going to get anything superb, but it's always worth just getting out and trying something different. But I'm, <laughs> I'm not holding up out much hope on this, this shot for today, but let's go and let's try. So I'm looking at the shot and it's just not quite there. Uh, there's a lot of reflections and I think I'm just going to have to opt for a polarizer just to cut down on the reflections because there is quite a lot. The highlights are really burnt out at the moment as well, which isn't the best. And I think just adding the polarizer might just make the shot pop a little bit more and yeah. That, I think that's going to have to be the route I'm going to have to take just to get rid of all the reflections. So I want to add the polarizer now and see what happens with that. So I've got the polarizer on the front of the lens now and I must say it's made a total difference to the shot. I much prefer it with the darkness of the water. As I've already mentioned, the water is very brown. I'm not a fan of that, but I think with the, the polarizer, it has helped it a little bit. So I'm gonna take a couple more shots before I finish off. I'm not gonna bother going elsewhere on the waterfall. As I've said, I have been here tons of times before and I'm not gonna get anything really worth keeping as, as far as a portfolio shot goes. So this is the last couple of shots and then I'll finish off and head back home. So that's me finished down at West Burton Waterfall and what a cracking little place this is. If you've never been before, I'd highly recommend it. Please do look forward to my next video, which I said is gonna be the fantastic Glencoe. I'm really looking forward to that tomorrow. It's been nice just to get out with my camera. It's been so long since I've done a vlog and just to get used to my new kit, the DJI Mini Pocket, and I've got the, the new Pro Drone as well, Mini, Mini Pro 3. So that's gonna be awesome trying that out in Scotland. Thank you for popping by and if you're new to the channel I'd really appreciate it and it really goes you know far if you subscribe so please do that and I will catch you in the next one. See you later.